joined by Road Traffic Management Corporation spokesperson Simon Zwane. Simon, hi, good afternoon. Always a pleasure speaking to you. Talk to us about what you've seen and witnessed during this uh, long weekend. Have drivers and, and pedestrians all been behaving? Uh, good evening. We've seen a very busy start to the long weekend. And unfortunately, we've seen incidents of hit and run, uh, which involves pedestrians being high, uh, particularly where the roads pass nearby informal settlements and build up areas. People are not using the pedestrian bridges that are provided for them and they're crossing the crossing the roads where they choose to, and that leads to accidents. And that's, that's a big problem we've seen so far. But we're also seeing a problem of people who are not wearing their safety belts. Uh, there's been more than 1,200 people giving traffic fines for not wearing seat belts. And the speeding, uh, the highest speed we have recorded so far was in, in the free state near Warden where a motorist was caught driving at 180 kilometers an hour. As, as people come back, they must know that we are watching and we, are, we really are urging every driver to also make it their business to, to make sure that we reduce the number of accidents and fatalities on South African roads. Yeah. Well, Simon, as we also saw in our previous story, it's also around how people continue to drive under the influence of alcohol. Irrespective of the fact that we are under lockdown level one with certain restrictions and regulations that have been put in place, it looks as though drunk and driving or drinking and driving continues to be a problem in the South African context. What are we getting wrong? Yeah, this is still a, it's still a problem, uh, even though we know that uh, there was a ban on alcohol, but there's still a problem. There were 290 people arrested throughout the country so far for driving under the influence of alcohol. Seemingly, some people think that it, uh, they can get away with it and that, and that the laws do not apply to them. And we want to urge them to really that the laws apply to everybody. And let's just play by the rules. It's not only for yourself. Don't be selfish. Mm. It's also for the other people who are using the roads. Let's, let's, let's remember that roads are a shared space. Yeah. And therefore, let's behave ourselves properly and to reduce the numbers of crashes that are happening. What additional contingency measures have you put in place to ensure that indeed motorists arrive at their destinations in a safe manner, especially during today as well as tomorrow when many people are expected to return uh, to their places of work? Today has been fairly quiet on the roads, but tomorrow we are expecting uh, traffic coming into Gauteng to peak at around 11 o'clock. So it will start at around uh, 9, 8 from the places of origin. We'll be deploying all our forces on the roads to make sure that we are visible. Uh, we identify those who are driving recklessly and negligently and they get pulled out and we make the roads safe for those who are willing to play by the rules. Simon, which specific areas have been seen to be the most vulnerable or the most problematic areas, especially when it comes to motorists adhering to regulations as well as abiding by just the rules of the law? Um, where are those problem areas as identified by yourselves? The N1 uh, remains an area of concern for us. N1 uh, from Pulukwane. Uh, the N3, there's uh, serious problems of speeding on that road that we have deployed there. There are also officers in uh, high-speed chase vehicles that are monitoring that, and the, the speed is being monitored quite closely. And even the N1 in N1 South in the Free State is also a problem area for speeding. So those roads are, are being monitored, but like all other, all other routes are, will be monitored but those will receive special attention. We'll leave it there. Simon Zwane, a Road Traffic Management Corporation spokesperson, giving us insight in terms of what our roads are looking like as people head on over home following that Easter long weekend period. But still